Hey, this is Pat with Ad Factory, and what I want to do is give you an intro to Ad Factory and show you how to create ads very quickly for your Teespring campaigns or your Faberly campaigns. So we're here at adfactory.co, and to access it, you just click uh, the access the button, and if you're logged into Teespring, you'll automatically be logged into Ad Factory, and you're ready to go. Now, if you have any live campaigns, you can simply click the load active campaigns and it'll automatically uh, pull in any active campaign that you've got. And I've just got a test campaign here for you. Uh, you can also go in and if you're using Fabrily or you're building a Teespring campaign, if you're a VA and you're building uh, ads for uh, uh, someone else, you can go to the paste campaign and you can paste in the Teespring or Fabrily URL there and it'll pull in the shirts. So uh, basically what we've got here is that you can click on that and load your shirts in and you'll notice that the shirts have been loaded and then you can pick a high converting default layout or you can pick a custom layout uh, if you've built one uh, Russell's got a really nice video on how to create custom layouts and from there you can actually add shirts to the interface there and we've got uh, nice little features graphical features like backgrounds you can have images colors uploads and overlays and we'll go over these in, uh, individual features in other videos uh, but we've got uh, borders where you can do the same thing you can do an image border a color you can upload your own or you can do no border uh, you've got price tags that you can add and they come predefined with a price you can edit the price we've got badges so you got nice little high converting badges we've got buttons that you can select predefined buttons you can add text any kind of text that you'd want and you can add shapes you can add circles and triangles and squares and you can even upload your own custom images to drag them onto the interface and you'll notice over here the quick uh, little edit panel that pops out when you select an item you can drag any item anywhere you want you can scale it up or down scale it you know uh, vertically and horizontally uh, and you can change colors you can uh, edit just about anything you want about that object on this little right panel and then when you're actually ready to create an ad you simply click the create an ad button now uh, ad factory does work with Chrome and Firefox we don't support Safari we don't support Internet Explorer and we don't do that because uh, those two browsers do have known issues with the frameworks that we use uh, the, in Ad Factory. So, when you do create a, uh, an ad, I'm using Chrome. What'll happen is that you'll notice that it will create, auto create an image, and it will save it in your uh, default browser download folder. So, if I go to Show All Downloads, you can see this. I can open the folder, and you'll see the image is right there and that's the ad that I just created so what you can do is you could drag that to your desktop and uh, or upload it to your Facebook ad campaign right from there so uh, we'll have more videos on how to do that in uh, an upcoming training but uh, this is just a real basic overview on how to use ad factory or what ad factory is and what kind of features it has so we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll have some more for you soon